What's up everybody uh, and welcome to another video from the channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to get started in 3D printing. And this video is for total beginners. So if you just want to, if you just learned about 3D printing and you want to start it yourself, this is the video for you. I'm going to be talking through you guys about 3D printers, software, some definitions, and all that fun stuff. So to start things off, a um, little bit of background on myself. I've been 3D printing for a couple years now. I've had two printers in this course. I've learned a lot from both of them. My most recent one is the Ender 3 Pro. I've done a video on that. You can check that out in the description. But uh, I've learned a lot and I'm here to share my experiences with you guys. So first off, um, if you want to start 3D printing, most importantly, you're gonna need a budget. By this, I mean, how much money are you willing to put in to your printer itself? Uh, for the sake of this video, I'm going to just have a budget of around $250, just as a starting value, just for your printer. And, of course, you can adjust this however you mean necessary. And uh, when buying a 3D printer, there are a couple things you want to take into consideration. Uh, mostly, what what do you want in your 3D printer? Do you want a heated bed? Do you want an SD card reader? Do you want um, wireless capability? Or maybe like an enclosure? So just to define a couple of those things that I just said, a heated bed, basically what that is, is it's a bed that your printer prints on, but that is heated, so it helps, uh, it helps with adhesion. It helps your prints stick. It also allows you to print different materials other than the common PLA. You can print with uh, ABS and like nylon and all that fun stuff. I'll get into those in a little bit. But um, what else did I say? You can also, if you want to have wireless capabilities like an SD card reader, if you want to be able to just set your printer down and not have it connected to your computer, uh, that's also important. Another thing is an enclosure. What that is is... And this right here, this does not have an enclosure. So an enclosure is like a box that goes over it where it's printed inside. And what that does, that helps with heat. So it distributes heat better. It maintains the temperature better. So you don't have outside factors like a fan or the AC maybe affecting your print quality. That's all minor stuff. Just keep that in mind, what you want in your printer. I recommend for beginners, the Ender 3. It's really good. It's got it's got a heated bed and it has an SD card reader, so you can print wirelessly, and you can have a variety of different prints for just two hundred and fifty dollars, which I think is phenomenal. There's actually a sale going on right now. It's only one hundred and eighty dollars. I'll link that in the description. But uh, yeah, so moving on from that, we were talking about filament. Uh, just to define that, there are two common types of filament. There's PLA, which is the most common. It stands for polylactic acid. And basically that is a non-toxic, it's uh, the most common, it's easiest to print, it has the lowest printing temperature of all the filaments, but it's brittle, it's a little brittle, so it's not very strong. The next common printing material is called ABS, it stands for something really fancy, I'm not going to try and, and pronounce it, if you want you can look it up yourself, but a couple things about ABS is it's kind of toxic, the, the people recommend having it enclosed when you print with it because it's a little toxic fumes. Um, it takes more temperatures to print at. It requires a heated bed to be printed with. Um, but it is stronger. It's a stronger material um, and it can melt. So what I mean by that is you can normal prints. Let's just say this. You can kind of see the lines in it, I guess, because uh, it's PLA. But if you have ABS, you can melt the top layers after it's printed and it'll smooth it out. It'll look so much better, but it's more maintenance, let's just say. So we know, know about a little bit about filament. Uh, moving on, I got some note cards just so I talk about everything I wanted to. Let's go into the software portion of this video. So if you're just beginning 3D printing, you, you found a printer, you know what you're talking about with filament. Now you need some software, you need a slicer. What that means is you have a 3D model of something that you want to print. That's how you get started. So you have a model, say you want to print a square or a cube. You need a slicer. So what you need with that slicer is you need to take that 3D model, you put it into a software that converts that model into individual layers and sends that information to your printer 
which prints those layers one at a time on top of each other, stacks them up and gives you that result. So uh, there are a couple of options for your slicer. First off is if you want it free or paid. Most common free, there's a really, really popular slicer known as Cura. What Cura is, is it's free, it's a free software. It's super user-friendly. You just type in the printer you have, they have a ton of printers listed, and it'll pop up with all the settings. You don't really have to adjust anything. Type it in, you're good to go. And then you load in th your 3D models, hit print, and you're printing. And then there's a paid version, a paid software, I should say, known as Simplify 3D. This is for the more advanced users. It's not very user-friendly, but it has a lot of different options versus Cura. Uh, it's more open source and more customizable than Cura. But um, so now that you got your software, uh, you finally have your printer, you finally have your software, you're ready to print. What you want to do is you want to load up a, uh, a test print. So most printers already have this loaded-ish. It's usually like a little cube or like a dog or something. And you want to see how that prints. If you have something that does not have an automatic bed level sensor, now's the time to buckle down and be patient. That's the most important thing in this whole process is trial and error with patience. So if your test print does not go perfectly, which nine times out of 10, it's not going to the first time, but if it doesn't, now's the time to troubleshoot. So um, <clears throat> after you see that it didn't really do well, maybe it's because your bed level is off. So with the Ender 3 Pro, there are these knobs that you can turn, and that's pretty great about that. Uh, the great thing about 3D printing nowadays is it's very popular. So if your print is not going too great, take a picture of it, upload it to, uh, I use Reddit. You can use r slash fix my print which is very popular subreddit of people. You upload your wrong print to them. They'll help you out. They'll uh, see what's wrong with it. They'll give you some stuff to try out and you'll go from there. But like I said, 3D printing, there's a lot of trial and error, but there's also a lot of experimentation. So if you have a print and it's not looking perfect, maybe adjust some settings, see what it does. Learn for yourself what it, um, what adjusting each individual setting can do and what it does to the printer and so you can get more knowledge and more ideas from that. But uh, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. This is basically just an intro on how to get started 3D printing. I hope you guys learned some stuff about this. Hopefully uh, you know what you want to do. And uh, if you're still struggling with 3D printing, leave a comment down below. I'll uh, go more in detail with you in person, or not, not in person, but like, I'll email you, I'll help you guys out. I have, from my experience, I know a lot about printing, but um, yeah, I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys are taking on the adventure of 3D printing. It's really worth it. You can print awesome things like this uh, wingman here from Apex Legends. You can print like life-size models. It's all patience and it's all a uh, trial and error game. But once you learn, You'll keep that knowledge. So in that case, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something new. Um, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. But other than that, guys, I'll catch you guys on the flip.